today we are shrink fitting some more bearings and answering some questions from another video. Some of the questions I got from another video were do you line up the grease holes in the bush to the ones that are in the bore? Now you don't want to do that. You want to get the hole in the bore in between two of the holes on the bush. You see the groove on the outside of the bush that allows the grease to race right around and grease the pin from four directions. That being said, even if you did fluke it and line up the hole, it's not the end of the world, but I try not to. Another one was why don't you just heat the end up with an oxy torch instead of freezing down the bearing. Look that works perfectly fine as well but there's downsides to doing that. Uh, some people said they have ovens. We don't have an oven to put machinery parts in to heat up. That's ridiculous. Not to mention the power and time that's going to take. You can use an oxy torch. You're going to burn the paint up. You've got to repaint it and now the thing's super hot. I'm not going to want to put my grease seals in or pick it up and put it on straight away, which I can do when I freeze them down. I can rock up to any job site with Grandma's Toyota Corolla and ask in the back with some liquid nitrogen, freeze the bushes down, throw them in, give you the thumbs up, away I go. Does freezing a bearing down that cold wreck the integrity of the steel? I've never had one spontaneously fail on me yet. If you heat something up to a couple hundred degrees, you're going to change the molecular structure of the steel. How much? Bugger all. But you will change it. If you wanted to get real technical, but it's not going to matter. The number one enemy of a bush is not temperature, it is lack of grease. That's what's going to make it fail prematurely. Why can't we just use dry ice instead of liquid nitrogen? It's up to you what you use, but you got to remember, the colder you get it, the more it's going to shrink. The hotter you get the other end, the more it's going to expand. Dry ice is not as cold as liquid nitrogen. Dry ice also doesn't cover the whole bearing like liquid nitrogen does. As you can imagine, a liquid touches every surface on the bearing and gets in there and cools it down quick. Dry ice is not too bad, but it's harder to get the bearing as cold. A little personal favourite of mine, do we even need to freeze it down that cold? Why don't we just put it in the freezer and see if it'll fit? I will sit there and eat popcorn and watch you try and put a bush in any day of the week just trying to use the freezer on its own. You're not going to get a bush in a bore like that. Even if you then tried to heat the bore as well to try and get a bit of expansion, if that bush gets caught up while you're trying to insert it with a hot bore and a barely cold bush, the heat from the hot bore is going to race into the bush, swell it up and it will get stuck. And if you've ever got a bush stuck, you'll know that pain and trust me, you don't want to go there. I was surprised to hear a lot of people say that they can't get their hands on liquid nitrogen. you got to remember, I live in Australia, and in Australia we lead the world in absolutely nothing. And here I am in a small town in Australia and I can get this stuff readily available. I think a lot of the people saying they can't get it haven't even tried. Ask your gas supplier if you can get oxygen and acetylene, I'm sure you'll be able to get liquid nitrogen off them. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section. I love the banter that's going on, or if you have something funny to say, put that in there as well, that's also appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't enjoy it, you can also like the video and subscribe to my channel.